Hello YouTube, this is Churro Hacks, and today I'm going to be showing you how to um, create a Pandora battery and a magic memory stick using Despertel Del Cementro V7. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, and also using Pan 3 Double X. First, you're going to want to download these two links by going to the information box, clicking on the link, and downloading Despertel Del Cemento V7 and Pan 3X. And once you have these three, um, down, these two downloaded, you're gonna want to extract them, and you'll get two folders: Pan 3 Double X and a folder DC7. You're gonna want to copy and paste those, and then you're gonna want to go into my computer and find your PSP memory stick, and go to your PSP folder and the game folder, and copy and paste those there. And then you're gonna, once you have that done, you're gonna want to also download the official Sony firmware 4.01 from psp-hacks.com and you can also click on the information link and or information box and click on the link to download that firmware and when you do download it it's going to come as a file eboot.pbp you're going to need to re rename it to 401.ppp that is very important and you need to remember to do that once you have that you're going to want to also copy in that one copy that file and go into your PSP um, memory card and copy and paste it to the root of the memory stick and that's very important you need to um, place it into the root not in any of the folders but to the root once you have that um, you're going to want to exit out of your PSP okay once you exit out you're going to want to make sure that you don't have any custom themes installed onto your PSP then you're going to want to go over to game and then all the way down to the memory stick and click it. Then you're going to see a program called Despotar Del Cementio V7.77 and then you're going to want to click that. And then it's going to load up. And then once it loads, it's going to say press X to begin the installation and press X. Then it's going to start extracting all the files needed and so this might take a little while and so if you have any questions concerning this or you don't understand what I'm doing just email me or comment me on YouTube and yeah and if you also have want to see a tutorial on how to do something else just also message us and we'll try our best to get that up for you uh, there's going to be a lot more tutorials on how to update the uh, the firmware and stuff so look out for those coming up soon and so yeah it's just gonna keep going extracting all the files It's going to say, please keep press for some seconds the, key, the keys which you want to use to freeze. Alright, and so hold on while it loads. Alright, so, right, and then it's going to say installation complete. So press exit to press X to exit. And then, um, once it exits, you're going to want to go back to the memory, the game and the memory stick. And this time you want to go to Pandora Installer, Installer, and then click it. And then, hold on, and then, once this loads, it's going to say press X to install a 1.5 firmware. No, you don't want that and then it's going to say press O to make a battery a Pandora one so you're going to want to have a battery inside your, the PSP that you want to make a Pandora make sure you aren't using one of these batteries because um, they, they won't work make sure you have original PS um, original Sony battery not the newer type and then you're going to want to press press O to make a pan battery of Pandora one and it's going to say battery Pandora Pandora eyes and then press triangle to exit out and then it's going to say auto exit in five seconds 
Then once it exit, you're going to want to take out your battery and stick your battery back in. And your bed and then it should load up to it's going to say install 4.01m33, install 4.01OFW and NAND operations hardware info test M33 shutdown reboot device. And if you're um, doing this on a slim PSP, you're going to want to press NAND operations and back up your NAND. Otherwise, do, don't click um, install 4.01 OFW unless you want that custom firmware. But if you but you really want the M33, and then press install, and it's gonna it's gonna format. It's gonna do whatever it needs to do to install. And this may take a couple minutes, so just kick back and relax for a second. It's flashing your um, your flash memory and setting up all the files so it's be needed. And then it's nineteen percent. So yeah. If you have any comments about this, just and please subscribe. If subscribing really helps us, it helps us to produce more videos. Cause without you guys, we cannot do this. So just do whatever you feel necessary. And you could get all these links. Um, you could download all these links from the information bar on this right side of the YouTube uh, page. And then yeah, you'll be able to download everything needed for this program. And then soon it'll be done. Then flash one through three files. And then 100% installation is complete. A shutdown or reboot is required. So then you're going to want to shut down. And then if you're going to want to um, make your bat, if you're just using that battery for one time just to flat to make your um, PSP M33, then you're going to want to take out your battery and and go to and plug it into a US into a power cord. So you're going to want to plug it into a power cord. And then you're going to want to go back to the program, um, Pandora Installer, and then stick your battery back in, the one that is Pandora's. And you're going to want, this time you're going to want to press uh, square to make the pa battery a normal one. But I'm not going to do that right now because I'm keeping this battery as a normal battery. I mean as a Pandora one and then just press triangle to exit again and there you have it um you should have you should have um let's see you should have um a PS system software four dot O one M thirty three dash two and there will be more tutorials coming out how to create um how to upload to a different system uh to create your software um higher. So there you have it and there we go. That's trio hacks for you. Goodbye.